I've started working on trying to understand the role that future cities play in terms of world energy use and on the other hand started working on a project to look at how water and food and energy connect together and realising at a really early stage of that work that actually cities and food, energy and water are massively connected at the heart of this really intricate network of things which are going on. Most of the world's resources are consumed or at least governed by the cities. As the population rises, we're 7 billion people and by 2050 we anticipate it being over 9 billion, 9.5 billion people. Now we know that 75-80% of the world's population will live in a city somewhere in the world by 2050 and we know that about two-thirds of the infrastructure for those cities is going to be built between now and 2050. We're talking about the equivalent of a new city of a million people every week for the next decades. A lot of the decisions that we take now are going to have a major impact on decades to come. What if we could really start to understand what it takes to build truly sustainable cities for the future? What if the way in which that type of development goes from being very incremental, very um, evolutionary and organic, as has been the case in, in most parts of the world, to something which is much more rigorously planned, you know, almost offer a blueprint for a better city? With the cities that are already in place, you know, one of the big challenges is the amount of energy that gets wasted. And I think that the choices about combined heat and power generation and around public mass transport and around vehicle efficiency will have a big impact on the future global energy demand. We understand demand will rise. We understand that current supplies as we know them, as we see them, we'll struggle to keep pace with that demand as it grows. And we know that the environmental stresses have to be tackled. The question is, you know, how quickly we can do that. These are real big societal context questions, and it's globally. And you cannot isolate yourself in a country anymore from that global context. The technology is not so cutting edge that we don't know how to solve these things technically. The issue is how you bring all of those things together in one place and make them work together as different types of organisations with different skills and specialisms and interests, whether in energy or communication or transportation or water or waste. And how do you get the effective collaboration between commercial organisations and policy makers and decision makers to actually achieve what seems like a tall order, but I think if done properly would be really, really exciting. You know, cities could be a real saviour of a problem that we're facing in terms of the amount of resources that we're using and the impact that those resources have.